gutted. It's all completely changed. Even the even the records don't wear their stiletto high heel shoes, which was get my blood boiling back in the day. 1995 is all completely different. I can't believe it. Look at it. All this used to be outside. There used to be the Kentucky Derby. Stephen Mahalahan used to be here. The women used to look really hot, man. I'm telling you, it's just all completely different, man. It was an outdoor venue in the in the day. Oh, what songs would be it? So 1995. They probably have 90s nights, don't they? So if I was to come back on a night, they'd be playing Dead and Dead and Cat Nigel, Dead 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 a long time ago, and it'd be like I've never left. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, quite disappointed. Yeah, they're knocking down my old chalet. Now, don't quote me, but I think that's where I used to live at Butlins. It's all coming down now. So I think that's where I lived for 10 months. That's sad, and it? It's all coming down. So I'm pretty sure, mind you, there was a, fr I can't, there was a front entrance, perhaps that entrance there's for another chalet. So I used to be sat in there, listening to Bruce Springsteen's greatest hits, I think. Watching telly, then there's nothing much changing. Look at it. Look how old it, I look and this looks. So, but it's been open since 1962, apparently. I just Googled it. And that's where, in 1995, I would have uh, lived. Stephen Mahullahan, or whatever he's called from Saturday Night Telly, lived somewhere nearby as well, I pretty think. I'm pretty sure. And this is all the old staff uh, accommodation. There are some tasty birds, I'm telling you. Oh. All gone now. We used to have some fun. Look at it. Goodbye. God, there was so much staff here, man. It was unbelievable. Look at it. <laughs> oh. oh, look at it all, mate. All going. Oh, everything changes but me, eh? Everything changes but me. Tra la 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 la. Oh, everything goes, doesn't it? And I think only once got a woman back to my uh, chalet and she was called a chalet monster. <laughs> she said I could do the formal deed the next day, but I didn't bother. <laughs> She said she doesn't do it on first dates. <laughs> Billy Butlin, I bet he was a scoundrel. You've got to be to earn money in this day and age. Why do you think I'm so poor? <laughs> this is where being honest gets you, bio. That's true, Brian. You should uh, be a little bit more naughty. Be a little cheapster like me. That's why I'm so rich, by arm. <laughs> Hello, Brian. Shall I put on a pair of stiletto high heeled shoes for you, you little I gladly will. <laughs> Ryan. Bit empty, isn't it? <laughs> Carousels and uh, waltzers. All a bit empty, isn't it? <laughs> Sir Billy's fairground. Sad songs. Is that Tom Jones I hear? Here comes Mary. 
la, la, la. My mum lips like cherry. My mum went to the cold snore. There was eight people and he still did the show. He brought them all up to the front. The green, green grass of home. This used to be my home many moons ago. Well, I'm not feeling much, i got to say. Even the women don't look as lovely. The green, green grass of home. Yeah, I'm not feeling much, I gotta say. Oh yeah. Swing those pants, fire. Oh, Israelite. Swing those little panties, boil. Do you reckon I could make a red coat then? We've been for breakfast. La 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 that was that day. Oh, he is Looks fun, doesn't it, you Israelites? Bonnie and Clyde. Oh, he is relaxed. Beside the seaside. Oh. These are lights. Yeah, all completely different. I'm not feeling much of a soldier, man. There's a red coat over there. There's the old stage. Well, I suppose it's all waterproof now, isn't it, with all that up there? There's the old uh, stage over there. Shall I get up and uh, give a show, man? God, I've had them laughing their heads off in here in the staff canteen, honestly. Oh, there's some uh, red coat ladies. They don't wear stiletto high heel shoes anymore, much to a minor annoyance. Just white trainers. No good for me. So I'm just going to take you up to where I used to work and remember Mason Spearman and Rory Fryer, I believe they used to work not in my bit but uh, in Butlins here at the same time as me. Lucky devils, I think they were security, so I used to work in the staff canteen of course. <laughs> The, the woman of butlers said, you don't want to be a catering assistant for the rest of your life. <laughs> I haven't got very far, I've got to admit, I'll tell you a couple of funny stories. So the staff canteen's on the other side, I think, but I think it was here when I worked here. And just to cut the tides on our people laughing their head off. Now, can I tell you a secret without embarrassing you? Can I tell you a secret? Because I know you wouldn't tell anything. Can I tell you a secret? Well... You imagine me being in there with the whole place drammed with staff. It's a massive place, it was. So I used to be there feeding them all. So basically, <laughs> my neighbours in my chalet heard certain noises coming from my chalet, yeah? And they made great mirth of it. They were all smiling at me, giving it all that. I all sat by myself, I still do now. So basically the staff canteen was in there. Uh, yeah, that was the entrance. So people like Mason Spearman and uh, Rory Fryer would have been uh, would have been there as well. Um, but a security, I was just a, a lonely catering assistant. And just a couple of uh, times I've people laughing their head off. So I think it was in there. So you imagine the place full up and they've heard this noises and made great mirth of it and been laughing about it. So I thought I'll get my revenge here. So I was sat right at the back of this whole place full as always. 
with all this stuff and I was chatting to a woman but from distance within earshot of everyone and uh, this woman said oh are you asking her out or something and I said cheers anyway darling but I think I'll stick with the I'm not going to use the word and the whole place erupted <laughs> I still remember now the roof almost collapsed with laughter. Oh, it was so funny, man. I still think it gives you such a rush and such a buzz. It's such a medicine laughter. I'll tell you another story in a second. So it was in there in the staff canteen in 1995. And another time... Um, so basically, for some reason, they thought I was a bit of a bad boy. I think I might have he once even worn a baseball cap. Oh, I cringe now, I tell you. That you cringe at the things you've done in the past. So uh, I was in there, in the staff canteen, yeah, and a, a bloke came up to the counter, I was serving the chips or whatever, and he looked at me and said, Bad I hope you're well, Dan Bellamy. Brian's just about to eat my brother, and he says, hello, my little cockatoo cheekster. Damn Bellamy, you little cockatoo. Give us a buck, buck, buck chicken, you little cheekster. Damn Bellamy, I hope you are, my boy -o. So I'm just in Butlins getting some magical memories. Just going to have a chicken dinner. So when I first came in, it was, you know, quite alien and quite sad. But I've just, um, it's been brilliant, man. I, I've come back a second time and then the memories are starting to flood back. I tell you, it was amazing. You know what I mean? Oh, I wish I still worked here. You know, all the staff used to look at me and say stuff like, we all love you, by the way. And it makes you feel good inside, you know? I hope you're well done, Bellamy. I'm going to tuck, tuck into a bit of chicken now. So I hope you're all having a good day. I'm going to tuck into a bit of Butlin's Finest now. Billy Buttonin, I love you, boy. Mm. Well, goodbye, Butlins. Yeah, I can remember when it was a Kentucky Derby just there. And, uh, yeah, there was a little indoor thing with a stage, not that one. All completely different. So it was the 90s, so it'd be songs like, Here Come the Hot Stepper. I'm the lyrical gangster. Excuse me, Mr. Officer. Still looking like that. Oh, goodbye, Butlins. It was quite sad. Uh, I fell in love with this wet red coat woman. Uh, oh, she was gorgeous. Adele was her name. And I sent her a saucy love letter. And she showed everyone, including Stephen Mulhern. Oh, I was dying with embarrassment it was a bit saucy i won't repeat it was a bit saucy this love letter but lucky enough it was the end of the season so uh everyone had to leave anyway but oh i did love the red red coat ladies in the day in their stiletto high heels and red the color of passion well goodbye butlings goodbye butlings goodbye good memories <laughs> goodbye youth for certain <laughs> Hello, old age. Hello, mobility scooter. Hello, death. Crazy horse. Was that there? No, I think that might be now. That might have been that place with the stage. Remember I told you about? The crazy horse. That rings a bell. And Kentucky Derby somewhere there. I think. Don't quote me on that. Crazy horse. That rings a bell. Well, goodbye, Butlins. Goodbye forever. I won't be coming back here. And as people say, try and leave. One thing I've learned in life, I spent years looking back. I wasted my life. So just enjoy the good bits and move on. Find new bits. There might be a few rotten bits in the new world. But leave the past in the past. Have a few happy memories for your deathbed. But don't live in the past, move on. It, it's only taken me 40 years to learn it. And I hope I've got time before I'm in that mobility. <laughs> Have a nice one, guys. Uh, and goodbye, Bartlins. Uh, it's alright to keep filming till I leave the building. Brian's left the building. 
Yeah, it's funny. They, I expect they have a 90s night here, I expect, of a night. So if I was to come back of a night, it'd be like I'd never left. Because they still had Hickam the Outstepper and stuff like that then. And remember Cotton Eye Joe. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba